Hi, I'm Nathan Fake. I'm a musician, producer, performing artist. I got into electronic music when I was like a teenager, basically. I just started getting ideas for writing my own music. I used to play the keyboard and then I saved up some money and bought a drum machine and some other bits of gear. Eventually I just ended up making some tracks that some labels wanted to release. Spent from there really, yeah. I guess the genre of my early stuff was heavily influenced by stuff like Orbital, maybe electro, techno. Club music, I think. I was really into that at the same time. Um, pretty similar to how I to how I sound now, I guess, but just sort of just better produced these days. <laughs> so I do use like a mixture of old and new gear. Um, I actually use a few old programs. I use Cubase VST5, which is probably nearly 20 years old now, and um, Cool Edit Pro, which is about the same. Um, which might seem a bit ridiculous to some people, but that's just stuff I'm really comfortable with and I feel like I can use that without even thinking about it. And, and I use uh, a Waldorf A1 uh, synth plugin, which I also just know like the back of my hand. And I actually do really love the way it sounds, but I just, I really like the interface of it. That's just where I feel my area is, with like sound design and just general production. I think what makes my tracks kind of unique is the way I record them uh, in the studio in a sort of live setting. Um, and then I, I'll sort of edit the recordings afterwards. Sometimes I do arrange tracks in the more traditional sense, but um, yeah, I guess it's that. And I think my sort of rhythmic style, my melodic style are quite unique. My latest DP release is uh, Blizzard's Remixes. So that's got um, two remixes by Afro Deutsche and Irene Dressel. And um, a live version of Torch Song, which is from Blizzard's the album, and a new track called Sandstone. Yeah, and Sandstone was a track that I made quite recently, but it's actually based on something that an idea for a track I had when I was around 16. Um, and I sort of recreated it from memory. It's, uh, it seems to be a popular track so far, so that's good. Yeah, so I just made a pack for Loop Cloud, Loop Masters. I think the Blizzard drums pack does live in the same world as Blizzard's the album because a lot of the drum sounds are from tracks that I tracks that are from that album. It's just quite a drum heavy album and I really wanted to make a drum pack based on that. The preset kits I made, they're made using uh, various instruments that I've got, like drum machines and synthesizers that I've sort of built sounds with from scratch. And some of them are like kind of vocal, like beatbox kind of drum sounds, um, which is what exactly what I used on Blizzard's. They're just I kind of based it on those, on the drums used on the album, yeah. I had a lot of fun making the preset patterns that I made. Loop Cloud drum is great. Compared to like the drum machine that I first owned, it's very obvious like how to use it, like with the different drum sounds. And you can assign the sounds to the pads and you can edit them a lot, which is what I love actually. It's the thing with old drum machines that, it's old sort of digital drum machines, you sort of couldn't really edit the sound much at all. Whereas um, drum has just got like, like a massive pitch control, which I love. I love that sort of thing, because you can completely change the sound and also the envelope controls. And yeah, it's great. It's really fun to use. So I recently did a tour of the UK. Um, yeah, that was that was great. I mean, that was obviously a big deal because it was the first time I did some gigs after the pandemic. I wasn't sure what to expect from like the vibe of doing gigs, but it was better than I ever expected. Um, when I play live, I have, I use Ableton Live, like a lot of people. Um, but I, I have every single sort of percussion sound and every single MIDI part there in the live arrangement. And it's all improvised from there really, so I can kind of take it wherever I want. It's kind of different every time. So like, I'll have like a set that's for like a club or for like a, a smaller type of venue, but I can kind of adapt it to wherever I am. And I feel like it's quite a sort of engaging live show because there's visuals by Dan Toombs as well, which are great and um, I think, yeah, musically it's a good, it's an exciting thing to watch. <laughs>